Richmond and 55 plus recreation coordinator for LGS Rec. Today we have another exciting workout for you uh, to um, address uh, shoulder pain. Now, if you're not aware, um, your shoulders have the rate, most range of motion. Um, you know, you can pretty much go all over the place. And the only other joints that have that are your hips. Now your hips, uh, the sockets are a little bit deeper so they don't have the same range of motion. Um, so it's a little more stable, but your arms uh, with the flailing and whatnot um, tend to not be as stable. And sometimes when you wake up and you do a quick stretch or whatnot, sometimes you might hear that sound, uh, like a cracking or a crunching sound. Um, that's again, it means um, that sound, the technical medical term is called crepitus. And it's um, the fluid not moving fluidly uh, during the movement, the catching sound is the crepitus, that sound. Um, and that's just the cartilage rubbing up on the joints and um, you know, there could be some wear and tear there and it could potentially lead to maybe potentially arthritis or maybe decrease in range of motion. So you want to make sure your arms are fluid when you're moving around and to do that uh, you may you make sure it's healthy uh, by maintaining that same, um, maintaining that movement and uh, doing some, some exercises to maintain the range of motion. Uh, maintaining the flexibility. Um, so today we'll, I'll go over a few exercises for you and some stretches. Okay. So the first one we're going to do is just simply an overhead stretch. So you're going to interlock your fingers like so and you're simply going to bring it up as high as you can. Take a deep breath in and reach up as high as you can and then as you exhale just kind of make a big circle all the way down. Okay. Take another deep breath in, lock your fingers, reach out in front of you and go above your head and down, <sighs> exhale. Do maybe four or five of these, Just take a deep breath in and exhale. <sighs> Just by doing that circular motion, you're getting internal external rotation, a lot of good movement. And again, if you can't reach all the way up, even if you just go out in front of you, and slightly above your head and then dropping it back down that's certainly okay as well another simple one we're going to do is simply cross it over uh, take, it, take your arm across your chest so I'm taking my left arm I'm going to bring it across my chest taking my right hand underneath and I'm going to not push on the joint the elbow joint I'm going to push on my tricep muscle muscle behind my, my arm here I'm just going to simply pull it in okay and you should feel a slight stretch the back side of your shoulder Again, hold it for 15, 20 seconds, and then come on up, and then repeat for the other side. And now for um, going outward, you can go up to a wall, um, like so, and simply put your arm, you know, sort of arm parallel there, and I'm simply turning away. So that's really more of a pec stretch, but you're also getting some shoulder in there as well. And another one you can do is interlock your fingers from behind your back and simply pull it back behind you as much as you can with your chest out and give it a good shake. Okay. Another one you can do is I'm going to just grab a towel here. I'm just going to roll it up and I'm going to take my right arm behind my back here and I'm pulling down so you can kind of see there. So I'm getting almost a tricep stretch but I'm also getting that shoulder stretch as well. Okay, And you're going to repeat for the other side. On uh, some strength exercise you can certainly do um, are some overhead press, some lateral raises. Um, I have two small water bottles here. I'm sitting down. I'm going to sit down in the chair here. Um, some lateral raises um, are basically um, where you're sitting down in your chair. Again, make sure your feet are flat on the floor. When you're sitting down, you're up nice and tall. Uh, and you're just going to do some lateral raise. So bringing your arms away from you. Up as high as you can. Get it parallel to the floor. A little bit higher is probably then you're gonna bring in your shoulders. You don't want to do that. You just um, or you 
your neck. You just want to bring it up about parallel to the floor and then drop it back down. Very simple exercise. Three sets of ten. And drop it back down. And then um, another exercise you can do is a shoulder press. So holding the bottle again, you're just going to palms out and you're just going to press up. And down. Deep breath in. Exhale. Up as high as you can. Drop it back down. Up. And down. Okay. Three sets of ten for both. And if you can include that uh, with the shoulder uh, exercises um, throughout the day, that's really going to help keep your shoulders uh, fluid, maintain the flexibility, and uh, you're going to have good range of motion. Okay? So until next time, I'll see you.